Hello, Photopiller Rafael Labar here. When shooting long exposures with one or more ND filters, the last thing you want is to figure out the exposure time you need to use to get the photo correctly exposed by trial and error. What? No. The last thing you want is to put your ND filter in front of the lens and try, for example, a 2 minute exposure to find out after too long minutes that the exposure is not right, that you got an overexposed photo or underexposed photo. So you have to start over making another guess. And another one. And another one. By the time you get the exposure right, the photo will be gone. The photo opportunity will be gone. Hey, where is the light? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to use photo pills to figure out the exposure time you need to use in just seconds. Let's go. Imagine that you're photographing a beautiful seascape at sunset and that you have with you your 8 stops and 10 stops ND filters. Typically, with this kind of scenes, you also need a GND filter, a graduated neutral density filter, to apply it on the sky, to balance the highlights and the shadows in the scene, to reduce the dynamic range in the scene so your camera is able to capture the whole dynamic range to get the exposure right in one shot. But that's another story for another video. Well, to decide the ND filter you need and the exposure time you need, let's go to Photo Pills and tap on the Exposure Calculator. Here in the Pills menu, tap on Exposure. Here, the first thing you need to do is to tap on Calculate and choose to calculate the shutter speed, the exposure time, which is the camera setting we wish to calculate. Let's continue. Now take your camera and take a test shot without using the ND filter. And if you're planning to use the polarizer or a, a GND filter, a graduated filter, take the test shot with these filters in front of the lens. With the test shot, what you want is to get an aperture, a shutter speed, and an ISO that gives you a photo correctly exposed. And when you have these settings, introduce them in the test settings here in the exposure calculator. So imagine that you got the exposure right with, for example, an F. 5.6 and the shutter speed of 1 divided 20 seconds and an ISO 100. So these are the settings you got the exposure right with the test shot. So you introduce them in the test settings here. Nice! The final step is to decide the settings you want to use for the photo to get the effect you want in the photo. Imagine that you want to keep the same aperture, an f5.6, and then use an ISO of 100. You know, for this kind of, kind of photos, you want to use uh, the base ISO to avoid noise, so ISO 100. And also you wish to use your, for example, 8 stop and the filter to shoot a long exposure, you know, to create this silky effect in the moving water. Well, the calculator is telling you that if you use a shoot speed of 13 seconds, you'll get the same exposure than your test shot. This means that you'll get the photo correctly exposed. So you should have a similar histogram for both photos, the test photo and your final photo. Now, maybe you want to shoot a long exposure. What you can do is, for example, to close the aperture. Let's close it to f8, for example, and with f8, the shutter speed I can use is 25 seconds. If that's not long enough for you, you can keep closing the aperture, or you, for example, you can use your 10 stop filter. You have one. And with the 10 stop filter, you can choose a shutter speed of 1 minute 42 seconds, almost 2 minutes, which is a pretty cool long exposure to create these nice silky effects on the water or on the clouds. At the end of the day, it's a matter of taste. Just take a few test shots with different long exposures and see which one gives you the effect you want in the photo. For example, my friend Francesco Gola, who is truly a seascapes master, likes to shoot with his eight stops and the filter, and he likes to shoot long exposures between you know, 90 seconds and two minutes. That's the sweet spot for him. Actually, if you want to see him in action, don't miss the seascapes master class we did with him, with Francesco live on YouTube. It was an amazing masterclass. Don't miss it. If you're stuck in two ND filters, for example, a three stops ND filter and a six stops ND filter, all you have to do is to add the two densities. 
3 plus 6 is 9 stops and then set 9 stops here in the ND filter calculator. Cool! This way you will be able to calculate the shutter speed you need using both filters. It's easy! Also, in the filter selector you can set a fraction of stop, for example, a two thirds stop. And this is really helpful when your filter is not calibrated. This means that the real density of your filter is not the one the manufacturer states it has. If you think that's what happened with your filter that's not calibrated, check our long exposure photography with filters guide. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. There you'll find a chapter where we explain you how you can calibrate your filter. This is how you can find the real density of your filter. So you can use it afterwards with the exposure calculator for the fills. And when you have the exposure time calculated, you can tap on timer and then press the shutter release and tap on start here. So photo pills tells you the seconds that are left to end the exposure, so you know when you have to stop the camera. And if you allow photo pills to send you notifications, an alarm will go off to tell you when you have to stop. Oh, here we have. And that's it, this is how you can quickly calculate the exposure time you need to use to get the exposure right when you're using an ND filter. As always, if you have a question, please leave a comment below, I'm ready to help. And if you wish to learn more on how to use ND filters, GND filters or your polarizer, please check our guide on long exposure photography with filters, I'm leaving a link in the description of this video. Check it out. And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe and click on the bell to get notified when we release the next video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan and shoot legendary photos. Bye.